I always think it's important at the outset to sort of, because I know this will be uh, discussed as uh, an election, threats to the election is a broad topic, and I always, it's always bifurcated into two things. There's election interference, which is trying to hack into the voter database or messing with the early reporting, unofficial reporting system of a state, things of that nature. That's more easily understood. Um, and then there is this whole topic of influence. And it's not just in elections, it's also in our debates. I mean, we saw elements of that during COVID. We see it during important. But I want to focus on it. And I'm, I'm going to largely base the scenario I'm about to outline. I'm going to base it on a CNN February 9th exclusive about a tabletop exercise. And it basically describes the following tabletop exercise. China creates a fake AI video showing a Senate candidate destroying ballots. And... Uh, they're able to identify but that, that it's AI, that it's fake. So we have the ability to do that. And, and I think that's what you've described uh, the DNI's office is able to do through that, uh, um, was it the, uh, through DARPA, I guess the uh, effort, uh, the semantic forensics technology and all that. Okay, so we know it's fake. What the article says, and what I wanna know, maybe the article's wrong and you could correct me, is after that, in this tabletop exercise, no one, knew what happened next. There was, uh, there, they struggled to, on how, what the response should be. Who, there was a struggle, to, who would notify the public? According to this article, no, and the number two at the FBI, number two at CIA, number two at DHS was part of this tabletop. Nobody raised their hand and says that we will do it. We wanna be the ones in charge of notifying the public. There was real consternation if in fact this was being promoted through a cutout, like maybe I imagine like a blogger. Let's say there's a right-wing blogger or a left-wing blogger and that person is the one that released the video. Now there was certain fear that if we go out and say that this video is fake and this person is spreading it, people are gonna say the government itself is interfering in our elections. And, and then a real question about if so many Americans already don't trust the federal government or the intelligence agencies, you know, how can we get them to trust us that this is not a real video. So here's what I want to ask. If in fact the scenario like this plays out, video comes out, let, I'm not in, on the ballot this year, so let's use me. Video comes out and it's me in an audio recording fake saying, yeah, I'm going to rig the election and I'm going to steal a bunch of ballots. It's fake. You know it's fake. What happens at that point? Because I'm now a week before the election, six days before the election. Does someone notify me? Am I able to say that? Is someone going to come out and say, this is not real? He really didn't say that. What happens? Because this article says it would be turned over to state and local officials. I don't know what a state and local official is supposed to do. They're going to turn around and say, yes, the DNI's office or the FBI or somebody told us this was fake. I, I don't understand what the process that would happen at that point is. Do we have a process that would kick in in a situation like that one that I just described? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, um, I uh, I wasn't at the tabletop exercise, so I don't know what happened in that particular scenario, but I understand that's not actually um, an accurate representation of what the discussion was. I would say that in terms of what would happen, yes, there would be a statement. So I think the... Um, uh, the model that I pointed to in 2020 is an appropriate model if there is uh, basically a video or some fake, uh, some deep fake or disinformation that's being promoted. Um, it could be that we find out about it through intelligence. It could be otherwise identified and it would go through if it's intelligence through the notification framework. The notification framework is an interagency group that basically indicates, okay, we think this is something that deserves a I public apologize. I statement. I don't mean to interrupt you, but yeah. I just wanted to ask you this Please. for clarification. So the video is clearly fake. Yeah. You know, you'll be able to, you may not be able to attribute it to a right. foreign entity, exactly. but you'll at least be able to say this is not real and we're working to see where it came from. Maybe it was designed by some guy in a basement, but maybe it was designed by a nation state. Yeah. But at a minimum, we have to be able to say this thing is not real yeah. and it could be the work of a foreign adversary. Who, I say we, but who, who would be, would you, would you be the one that would stand up? Is it, is it the DNI? Is it the FBI? Who would be the person that would stand before the American people and say, we're not interfering in the election. We just want you to know that video is not real. Who would be in charge of that? Yeah, so I could be the person that goes out and makes that determination. And I'll just give you an example.